Hey, removers. Welcome to Total Body. I've got Coach Nettie and Coach Emily with us today. Hey, ladies. Hi. 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 All right, let's go ahead and get right into it. We have starting with a three minute AMRAP with six shoulder dislocates using that towel, six good mornings, and six push ups. Let's go ahead and get started. Clock is on. Shoulder dislocates. Make sure while you're doing this, you all are pushing that towel away from your body. So you're not just going through the motions. Make sure that you kind of hit that sticky spot. Six of those. Six good mornings. Let's make sure we do six good mornings with our hands behind our ears. Hinging back. Very nice. Good. Trying to get that chest parallel to the floor while pulling those elbows back. I love good mornings. Thank you. Good. At the end of those six, you're going to do push-ups. Six push-ups. Don't ask me. I have no idea why six was a magic number today. I don't know. I was just feeling I like, it. I like three better. <laughs> <laughs> After those six push-ups, going right back into shoulder dislocates. We are one minute in. Dislocates feel really good. Good. It really is fun to see in everybody's houses. <laughs> as weird as that sounds. I was about to say that's weird, Rhea. <laughs> it is. It's kind of fun. So I do my, you know, my semi-private Monday, Wednesday, fr Friday. And the funny part is, is a couple of them end up filming in different rooms each day. And I'm like, like I'm getting a full <laughs> tour of your house. That's right. Good. Six push-ups. Engage that back. Push the floor away from you. You all are a minute 45 in. Just a minute Ooh. 15 left. Remember that this is just waking up the body, kind of waking up our neurological system. I love shoulder dislocates. That means there's a lot of shoulders coming. <laughs> No, not nearly as much as Emily and Autumn would have, for sure. <laughs> good, good, good. I always love to uh, give this little tidbit of information whenever we have good mornings. I think it was Israel that told me this like five years ago, that Bruce Lee actually broke his back doing weighted good mornings all those years ago. Crazy. If you watch the movie, it's from a fight, but they lied, they lied. Almost there, guys. You have 22 seconds left. <sighs> Woo! Wofford, are those new tennis shoes? No, girl, those are my uh, patriotic. Oh. My red, white, blues. Yeah. I like them. It's scary that I can Spot out and sneakers that I like. You love tennis shoes. I know. And uh, put that stuff down. Let's go into our reset. We got cobra stretch. Let's move on into that cobra stretch. Shoulder blades back and down. Let those hip flexors stretch. Get those get those shoulders away from the ears as much as possible. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Straight arms. Nice, looking good, almost there. Let's go ahead and pull back in that child's pose. Hips low, armpits to the floor. Stretch those hands away from you. Still doing that diaphragmatic breathing. At the end of this child's pose, you're gonna roll back onto your back and hold in a supine scorpion. Roll to your back. And let's go ahead and take one leg across Yep, stretch out that hip. We're just gonna hold here, keeping both scapula on the floor. This is, this right here might be my favorite lower body stretch that we do. Feels, feels really good. Switch side, same thing on the other side. Good, still with those diaphragmatic breaths. Five more seconds. We're going to go back into that cobra stretch for one more round here. 
Roll over back into that cobra stretch. Nettie, you be quiet. <laughs> <laughs> She's been working in her back. Yard. She's her and Greg have totally transformed her backyard. <laughs> Good work. All right, let's pull back into child's pose. Hips low, armpits to the floor. Stretch, stretch, stretch. Good. All right, let's lay back into that supine scorpion. Last round for each side. Gracious. Look at you, Em. You can almost get that hand all the way up, or that foot all the way up to that hand. You are way more flexible than me. Jeez. All right, switch sides. Good work, guys. Good work. 10 more seconds on this side. I'm trying to figure out whose kids I hear in the background. Bye, I'm back to yellow. <laughs> Roll over, let's go into quadruped. We've got cat cow. Hands directly under shoulders, knees under hips. Once again, one of my favorites. Really stretch up and round out that, that back. Woo, those triceps are popping, Nettie. <laughs> I often like to give Israel a hard time. I just want to hear how good I look, what kind of lighting I had. <laughs> good job, guys. All right, we're going to push back into child's pose. In this child's pose, I want you to do T-spine rotation. So take that right hand, put it behind your ear, rotate down, rotate up. Now, the really what you're trying to do is as you rotate up, push the extended arms, armpit to the floor and really stretch out those lats. So it should be, you should really should feel this on that left side. Restricting those hips, good. Give me one more and then let's switch sides. Oh yeah, I can see your guys' back muscles looking good. Give me one more. Then I want you to lay flat on your stomachs. We're gonna do eyes, Y's, and T's. We're gonna go through this two times, and you're gonna hold at the top for a five count, on my count. Ready, pull up at an I and hold. Five, four, three, two, one. Let's go out to a Y. Up, hold, five, four, three, two, one. And let's go out to a T and up and hold. Five, four, three, two, one, let's do that all over again. Eyes up, five, four, three, two, one. Out to a Y, up, hold, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Notice how they keep their feet on the ground. Very nice, out to a T and up and hold. Good, now staying on your stomachs, we're gonna go straight into active scorpions with your arms down at an A. Then it'll be up at a T and then up at a Y. But let's stay in the A and go side to side. Go ahead and make that active, staying in that A position. Nice. Good, even out your sides and then move those arms up to a T in that scorpion. Nice, as you can see, both of them are almost touching their hands with their feet, woo! And then arms up at a Y. This should be a little bit more uncomfortable. Nice. Even out your sides. Push up into an FLR. So you're in that FLR, I want you to walk your hands to your feet, keep your legs straight. Then walk your hands back out. Walk your feet to your hands. And then you're gonna walk your feet back out. 
backwards, yep. And walk your hands to your feet. And do that all over again, one more time. Nothing like my 14 year old just now walking into the room with a sign asking me a question. <laughs> I tried to be smooth about that, but I don't know that I was. <laughs> On that last walkout, slowly roll up each vertebrae at a time. Good. Let's do reverse lunges with a rotation over that forward leg. Chest is tall, rotating. This will be the last exercise of our readiness before we get into reactive. Good, even out your sides. All right, our reactive today. Are you guys still with me? I don't know that yeah. I don't hear you guys this quiet. <laughs> We're here, right now. <laughs> it's like afternoon, right? You're thinking. Yeah. Like, <laughs> I'm winding down. I know. <laughs> okay, so we have a Tabata. Okay. We're gonna alternate between prisoner reverse lunges, so your hands are behind your head in those alternating reverse lunges, and T-spine push-ups. So there's no hold on the 10 seconds. You actually get 10 seconds rest. We're gonna do prisoners, uh, prisoner reverse lunges first. Are you ready? Yes. yes. All right, here we go. Three, two, one, begin. Alternating prisoner reverse lunges, pulling those elbows back, chest is tall. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> if I yell, that can be bad. <laughs> Good job, guys. Five more seconds. And rest. Next, you're doing those key spine push-ups. Everybody knows what those are. Push-up, rotate up. Three, two, one. Again. Thank you for letting us rest, Raymond. I know. <laughs> what a girl. Good job, guys. Almost there. Three, two, one. Rest. We're gonna go back into those prisoner reverse lunges. <clears throat> Starting in three, two, one. Begin. Nice. Chest is tall. Almost there. Rest. Going down to the floor. Peace spine push up. And begin. So pretty. Five more seconds. Rest, we are halfway. Woo! Good work, guys. Three, two, one. Prisoner reverse lunges. Something I'm realizing, not that, I mean, it's the first thing I've ever, first time I've ever thought of it, but my attention span is really low. When, <laughs> when you like <laughs> work out, like don't you guys like find stuff better? I do. <laughs> And rest, go down to T-spine push-ups. And if it's anything more than like 45 seconds, I'm like, <laughs> what are we doing? That's Ready, like go, <laughs> I know. That's like anything. <laughs> I know, but I feel like it's gotten worse. So when I'm like one of you guys working out in a video and I'm like, oh my gosh, <laughs> in it? Almost there. Rest. Last round of this. Come on, push up. Just because you guys are so good at them, you get them done quickly. Ready? Push up in the warm up. Go. Good 
Good work, guys. This is your last round of these. And rest. T-spine push-ups. This will be it for our reactive. All right. Three, two, one, begin. Nice, reaching, reaching high to the ceiling, using that back to push the floor away from you, not just your anterior muscles. So pretty. Rest. All right, guys, shake out those arms. Shake out those arms. Okay, so we are moving into our resistance. We have three rounds. We're gonna stay in the first section for three rounds. We're gonna do 40 seconds of hands up air squats. That literally is what it sounds like. Your hands are up and you're doing air squats. So the purpose of that is you gotta keep that chest nice and tall. Very nice, Emily, thank you. And then Nettie's gonna demonstrate the FLR into the alternating side hops. So you're in an FLR. Very pretty, very nice. And then we're gonna go down to the floor and do slow crossovers. So it's 40 seconds of work, 20 seconds of transition and rest. We're gonna go through that three rounds, back to back to back. And then you will have rest before we start the next round of exercises. All right, All right. ladies, I'll be ready. Hands up air squats. Three, two, one, begin. I want that chest nice and tall. Good, get that nice, low depth. As you can see, both Emily and Nettie are doing them different. I really don't care. You can have your arms out here. You can have your arms up here. It is up to you. <laughs> My knees <laughs> press. <laughs> you hear the pop? <laughs> How long is this, right now? <laughs> for 40 seconds, you got five minutes. Almost there. Rest, 20 seconds. Get ready for those FLRs and the alternating side hops. The big thing is that information, 40 seconds. I know, right? <laughs> All right, you got five seconds. Almost there, ladies. Three, two, one, begin. Now, I definitely want you to try to get back to that FLR position. Everybody remember to use your scap muscles, engage your scap muscles, make sure to push your floor away from you. Keep that core engaged, pull that belly button to your spine. You're 20 seconds in. Oh my God. <laughs> Come on now, you got this. Get that you heart rate up. Up. I like it. I like seeing you guys get that heart rate up. You guys are much more cardio beasts than me. Three, two, one. All right, rest. Next, you're gonna be on your back for slow crossovers. So there's a method to this madness, right, ladies? Because I just got your heart rate up, and now I'm gonna make you compress it. So you guys have eight seconds to those slow crossovers. I want you to think fully extend, and then pull back in and extend on the other side, and go. Yes, very nice. Keeping that lower back on the floor, making sure you pull that chest up and you're crossing over and reaching. Very nice. Now, if any of your backs start to hurt, feel free to lift those feet a little higher in the air if you need to. Always protecting lower backs. Good job, guys, almost there. And rest. We're doing that all over again. Ooh. Hands up air squat. You got 15 seconds left. Still 40 seconds? Yep, we're gonna stay there. <laughs> okay. Two, one, go. Good, get that nice depth. Sitting back on those heels. As you can tell, both of them have their toes slightly turned out. Now, 
I will tell you this, that if, for those of you that have some knee issues, if you need to turn your toes out and knees out and go into a sumo squat, totally fine with that. I understand. As you can tell though, there's no jumping on those knees today. Like that. And rest. Good job. Well, except for the FLR side hops, but that's not the same thing. At least it doesn't hurt my knee to necessarily do that. <laughs> or the no burpee, no push-up burpee. Don't tell them what's coming. Okay. Don't they can see it on the screen. Three, two, one, begin. Make sure when you are coming back to that FLR position, both of these, you know, it's hard to coach these two. They do everything perfect, but Make sure when you come back to that FLR, you don't let those hips drop low. We don't want to hurt that lower back. I'm going to stop right here. <laughs> Good job, guys. You've got 10 seconds left. Nice. Almost there. Almost there. Rest. Shake out those arms, those wrists, move those wrists around. Next, we got those slow crossovers. Once again, compressing that core just after we got that heart rate up. Five seconds. Yo, come on, come on. Thank you, Christy. seconds left. Looking good, ladies. Eight more seconds. And rest. We only have one more round of all this. Woo! Yeah. 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 I have to say, Watching everybody's videos, everybody's really getting creative. These total body and core and cart, core and conditioning at home, a lot of creativity. Ready? Go. I know. Go go. So many, so many like body weight things. Right. And I so appreciate you removers for hanging with us. Yes. For think like, what are they doing? <laughs> We're gonna have a whole lot of new moves though when we get to the gym. <laughs> and you'll know them all already. So good for you. Exactly. You got 10 seconds left. Is this 40 seconds, round of 40 seconds going quicker? No. <laughs> 40 seconds. <laughs> Rest. <laughs> <laughs> I will tell you after talking all the smack that I do when I'm taking the classes, I make sure that I'm watching the clock adamantly. <laughs> Five seconds. Three, two, one, begin. I'm trying to be really light on my feet on these so my phone doesn't like, go flying forward. <laughs> Isn't it duct taped? It doesn't matter. <laughs> it is duct taped twice. <laughs> Oh, goodness. Yes, if I took pictures of what all of my equipment looks like when it's set up, it would look ridiculous. 10 seconds. Almost there. Come on, y'all. Woo! And rest. Oh, guys. Last round in this series. Crossovers. Five seconds. Ready. Three, two, one, begin. You know what'll be fun is on the other side of this, when we all get together and listen to Israel's, um, how he had to get creative to match the clock with some of our messed up timing. 
<laughs> and what kind of Googling of videos he had to like, you know, look up, how do I, how do we do this? How do we make that happen? All the hours he had to do to make us look good. I like it, Bobo's the other day, he put question mark, question mark, question mark. <laughs> <It's> timing. <laughs> to make it laugh. Rest. Good job, guys. All right, so let's talk about the next series. So because everybody just loved those get-ups a few weeks ago, I decided to add them in again. Remember, get-ups are unweighted. Basically, all they are is going from a flat back, standing up without using your hands, putting them on your legs or anything. You're holding them in front. Thank you, Natty. <laughs> and then getting back down. Very nice. And then pike push-ups, Miss Wofford. Let's go ahead and let's see Emily do pike push-ups. She's gonna see how high those hips are. I want your feet on the ground, guys, and doing the push-ups. I know some of you have elevated them. Thank you, Emily. And then we have side planks. Nettie, you wanna do this for me? Side planks with a toe tap, forward and back. Good, good, good. And then you just roll directly to the other side and you'll do it on the other side as well. So do not come down between sides. Really try to roll from one side to the other. Okay, let's get get ups, ladies. We got 40 seconds of these. On your backs, ready? Three, two, and one, begin. Just get up and get back down. Try to not get up the exact same way every time. So try not to put more strain on one knee than the other. You trying to call me out? I had a whole system going. <laughs> <laughs> Have you told Jared yet that you need like an extra carpet pad underneath that carpet yet? No, because we're not going to be doing this much longer, friend. <laughs> Good job, guys. You've got five more seconds of this. And rest. Next, we're gonna go into those pike push-ups. Those get-ups are harder than you think they're gonna be, aren't they? They are. Yeah, my 16-year-old showed those to me. I was like, yes, I love them. <laughs> Can you do them in like conditioning class? Yep, pike push-ups, let's go. Hits high. Now, I really wanna see you guys keep your hips nice and high. If that means that you need to spread your feet further apart to get in that position and get a good pike push-up, I'm fine with that. Um, I'd rather see your hips as high as possible as opposed to flattening out. But if you need to go to a standard push-up, feel free to do that. Nice, eight seconds left. And rest. Good job, guys. Next, we're gonna go into the side planks. We're only gonna be on one side for 20 seconds. You're gonna roll directly to the other side for 20 seconds, doing toe taps. Let's start in six seconds. Stacking those feet on top of each other. Ready, begin. Now, in a side plank, you wanna make sure that you're lifting those hips to the ceiling. Let's go ahead and extend that top arm, reaching for the ceiling. Yep, thank you. Good job, guys. Straight line from shoulder to ankle if you can, and directly to the other side. Perfect. Reaching, reaching, reaching. Cooper, are yelling for me? Mom, you're doing great. Yeah, I heard that. Five seconds, guys. And rest. See, that was easy. I mean, for you. <laughs> <laughs> I know, right? One day I sent a message to Israel after a workout and I said, do I get the trophy for the most complaining coach? He said, not yet. <laughs> Ready? I have an idea of who I would say. Get ups, come on. Get ups, get ups, get ups. Got it? Yep, yep. I like the fact that the, your soles of your shoes, too, are red. Aren't these awesome? Yeah. I like them. Outside of rollerblades, I have not bought any shoes during the quarantine. 
Wow, good for you. I know. I know. I've spent it all on food. These kids are killing me. 10 seconds. Almost there. Look at this killing me, you Rest. There's no other nerd bird here. Rest, Nettie, rest. What's next? Next, you've got this pike push up. Eight oh. seconds. How can I forget? I'm glad to see you have a little bit of workout brain. Ready? <laughs> Begin. So quiet. You know what's really cute? Actually, I'm listening to your kids. And I'm like, you know, those cute, sweet voices change so quickly. Enjoy it. Okay. <laughs> 10 seconds left. Nice work, ladies. Oh, these are harder. Rest. Next are side planks. Toe tap. So, um, good. Good, good. Five seconds left. Two, one, begin. Toe taps. Good. Using, make sure that you're still engaging. Both of them are doing this, but I'm saying this for you all removers, but pushing the floor away from you, engaging those scaps engaging those lats you got three two one roll directly to the other side same thing good work guys you've got eight seconds left and rest one more round of each yes one more <laughs> 10 seconds. <sighs> Three, two, one. Last round of get ups. I don't know why, but I, I feel like while people are doing get ups, like I imagine, what was that really terrible song that was at the end of 19, or uh, 2019? Of, wasn't it the get up song or something? Oh, like I had a dance with it. Yeah. But this is so like, old. There you go. There you go. I feel like it should be like part of the song, part of this exercise. You got to set that music to this. Just one more thing is That's right. rest. Rest. <laughs> Good work, guys. You've got 12 seconds left. Eight. Uh, we got pike push-ups. Last round of these. Two, one, begin pike push-ups. Nice. Twenty seconds left. Almost there. Good job, guys. Ten seconds left. Three, two, one. And rest. Going into side planks. Then we will move on to recon. I feel like all of this is some amount of resistance in recon, though. That wasn't recon. <laughs> Ten seconds. <laughs> My watch says otherwise. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin. Good job, guys. You know, I uh, listened to this really cool sermon today, Stephen Furtick, and the like. One of the profound things he made the statement of is. We're never gonna have normal, like normal would be different. Rest or roll to the other side. 
our normal that we had before will never be our normal again, which is really kind of cool when you think about some really awesome things can come from this time if you really look at it from that standpoint. Three, two, one, rest. Good job, guys. Break out those arms. All right, now we're going into a, a group of four exercises. We're gonna start out with only 30 seconds on, 15 seconds to move. We're gonna go all the way through all four. I'll give you a one minute rest, and then we'll go through it two more rounds with different timing. Okay, so the first station is slow tuck-ins. Everybody knows that with tuck-ins, our heels and our hands are off the floor the whole time. You're fully extending and you're tucking in. Good. Now, Emily, could you stay on your back and actually show if you did not sit all the way up? So you fully extend in that tuck in, but keep your shoulders on the floor for an oh, alternate. I'm so confused. Keep your shoulder, there's scats, there you go. And then extend. For people that have lower back issues, if you cannot sit all the way up, that is one uh, modification you can do. Okay, and then overhead reverse lunges, holding something that has some kind of weight to it. I don't care. You can use weights. You can use one weight, you can use two weights. Thank you, Nettie. It's alternate reverse lunges. And then shoulder taps. We all know shoulder taps in that FLR. Trying not to rotate hips, thank you. And then no push-up burpees. Let's see that, Nettie. <laughs> Go, Nettie. <laughs> I love those. I look like a rock star doing this. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we only have 30 seconds on, 15 seconds off. We're gonna move through these really quickly. So I'll make sure that I give you those um, so cute, the cues to know what's next. All right, here we go. Slow tuck-ins. Ready? Begin, let's go. Slow tuck-ins. Allie always loves to remind us that anything using our core and going slow is really targeting our core and our abs and all the good things. As you can tell, both of them are keeping their heels off the floor the whole time. Eight seconds left before you'll get 15 seconds rest. Good job, stay in it. Rest, 15 seconds rest. Get those weights for the overhead reverse lunges. We're gonna keep that weight over our head the whole time. And we are starting in three, two, one, begin. Alternating reverse lunges, pushing through that front heel. Make sure that knee is tracking over that foot. Don't let that weight go to the inside of your foot. Not pronating. Very nice. Extending those arms up overhead. 10 seconds left. Good job, guys. And rest. Next, we have shoulder taps with that weight down. In that FLR position, do not rotate those hips. Five, four, three, two, and one. Go. Good, control those hips. Try not to rock side to side. Keeping those hands directly under your shoulders. Good job, guys. Eight seconds left. Almost there, keep breathing. Rest, good job. Ooh. 15 seconds rest, shake out those hands. You have no push-up burpees. Oh. I do want you to count how many you get in in 30 seconds. Okay, okay. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin. Nice, I love those claps. Good job, good job. Looking tough, guys, looking good. 15 more seconds. You're gonna get one entire minute rest at the end of these, come on. Good job, guys, getting that heart rate up. Almost there. And rest, one minute rest. 
So the next time we do this, we're gonna go to 45 seconds on and 15 to move. But you know what you're doing now, right? So it's easier. <laughs> I just forgot what was first. <laughs> I did too. I went to was. Oh, goodness. Seriously. The first tuck exercise is slow tuck in. Oh. You're still good. You got 30 seconds rest still. Gosh. Breathe, breathe, breathe. Remember, going through this three rounds. The slow tuck ins don't help my core count. <laughs> but okay. I got oh, that's a good point. I I'm got sorry. six. I got six. <laughs> you got 10 seconds left. <sighs> good job, guys. Five, four, three, two, and one. 45 seconds, slow tuck ins. I really want everybody to try to fight, 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 and keep those feet off the ground the whole time. So even if you have to hold at the top and rest for a few seconds, go ahead and do that, but don't let those feet touch the floor the whole 45 seconds. Good, 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 good. Keep breathing. Good job, guys. Hang in there, you're almost there. You got five seconds left. And rest, you got 15 seconds before those overhead reverse lunges. Believe it or not, these definitely get the heart rate up. Three, two, and one, begin. Arms extended, keep those arms straight. Good job, guys. You guys are so quiet. Don't <laughs> <laughs> <I> breathe. <laughs> oh, goodness. 10 more seconds. Almost there. And rest. Good okay. job, guys. Next thing are shoulder taps. Last week I filmed an alley video, all core and cardio, and I couldn't I couldn't breathe, so I couldn't talk. Three, <laughs> two, one, begin. Shoulder taps. I believe that. Good job. Do not ro rotate those hips. guys pull that navel to your spine imagine there's a string at the base of your at the base of your spine kind of keeping those hips just tilted up slightly six seconds left ah. Ah. Rest. next there's no push-up burpees <sighs> And this will be the end of round two. And then you're going to be on your last round. <laughs> Three, two, one, begin. Go, go. Good work, guys. Good work. Keep it up. Looking good. Always remember on these longer rounds, if you need to take a quick break, take a break, shake them out just like Walker just did, and then go back to it. There's no shame in it. Nope. You got 10 seconds left. Almost there. Good work, guys. Good work. And rest. Oh, got a minute. Rest. So, um, one thing I do love about a lot of these videos, I don't know if you guys feel this way, but it's kind of like clients get to see that we're real people, you know? We struggle some too. Yes. 
Yeah. I think that's great. Good thing. Shake those wrists out. This is your last round. Here's good news and the bad news. Last round, 60 seconds on, 30 seconds of rest. But no finisher today, guys. Well, the finisher that we do have is a feel good, vitamin D filled finisher. So that's a good thing, right? Okay. You all got 10 seconds before we go again. Okay. Okay. What's for a slow tuck in? Slow tuck in. Starting in three, two, and one. Begin. Good. Now this is one minute of keeping those heels off the ground. Remember when we did this at the very beginning and Emily demonstrated a modification of this if you start having some back issues. Good work guys. 30 seconds right there. You know what would be fun is if I could use like a Snapchat uh, filter to coach one of these things. That'd be that fun. <laughs> Everybody probably get annoyed after that much time, but still, I think it'd be you, fun. You would think that they would have that option by now. Right? What's wrong with them? Three seconds left. And rest. 30 seconds rest. I like that. Nettie went into starfish. I'll be honest, I've not watched any of the videos that I was an athlete in because I feel like they would be probably so ridiculous. It makes me in my head. All right, go overhead. There you go, reverse lunges. There are several videos, one of which was a Sharon video that literally I feel like I spent probably 20 minutes in starfish on the, on the floor. <laughs> Good, very nice. As you can tell, neither one of them had knee issues. You guys <laughs> get perfect depth. Yay. You probably just jinxed us, Rima. <laughs> no, I did not. <laughs> Happy for you that you know. <laughs> 15 seconds left. Look how quickly that went. Maybe it's not over. <laughs> <laughs> Arm straight. Keep pushing that weight to the ceiling. Three, two, one. Put that weight down. You don't have to use the weight the rest of the time. You only have two more minutes of work here. Good job, guys. 12 seconds. Danny, you good? I'm good. Okay. Five seconds to shoulder tap. Ready. Begin. I think Nettie was like moving boulders or something today. <laughs> like, she must have looked at my workout and said, oh, it's going to be easy. I'll just go move. <laughs> Nettie. She's our Iron Woman. <laughs> What's the proper thing to say, Nettie? Iron Man or Iron Woman? He's still Iron Man. <laughs> okay. No. Good job. 20 seconds left. Good work, guys. Good work. Hang in there. These are the end of your shoulder taps. You got eight seconds left. Almost there. Rest. Great job. Great job. Good work, guys. Yes. Our heart rate people are going to have a good job. <laughs> like, 
Deep one has a 20 spot on your test. Yeah, exactly. 12 seconds left. Last minute of work. Make burpees. Rest when you have to rest. Go when you can. Three, two, one. Begin. You guys are like synchronized. Yeah, not so much anymore. They're for me. You all can't see this, but Israel's got his Be the Light shirt on. I love those shirts. I just got one. Yeah, love it. Woo. Love it, love it. Good work, guys. 30 seconds left of work today. Of what? Of work. Oh, oh. <laughs> I thought you said Earth Day for some reason. No, oh, of work. My weird hybrid accent that's happened. 12 seconds. Almost there, guys. Come on. Wrap it up. Wrap it up. Three, two, and one. We are finished. So remember, your finisher today, you can see it on the uh, email that you got. But remember that your finisher today is just to go for a walk in your neighborhood. Get some vitamin D, have some social distancing from a friend, a neighbor, or whatever, but um, get outside today. Hey guys, thanks for joining me. Great workout, Rinda. You guys Thank are you. Awesome. You are awesome. All right, removers, we will see you tomorrow. Make sure that you turn us back on and push play. Love y'all. Love y'all. Have a Monday. <laughs>